नमस्ते देवी और सज्जन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे इज द लास्ट राउंड ऑफ आर डीजीसी मोटो जीपी चैंपियनशिप एट बुद्ध इंटरनेशनल सर्किट सो अनफॉर्चुनेटली टुडे रेस बॉक्स वन बी जॉइनिंग अस फॉर द लास्ट राउंड सो आई विल बी रिप्लेसिंग हिम एज अ वाइल्ड कार्ड और एज अ रिप्लेसमेंट राइडर एट या महा सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द फाइव मिनट्स क्वालिफाइंग लेट्स सी वेर वी कैन put ourselves all right flying start let's make sure we have the softest compound all right let's go so we welcome a new player uh, in our championship for the uh, on the last round and he's hilzy 35 he's from australia so it's really nice to have more players joining our championship a bit wide on the exit but lucky enough we are lucky enough cuz we didn't invalidate our lap time hard on the brakes for turn 1 mm, okay this year's braking is a bit tricky on gp24 game as compared to gp23 the pick up effect is gone which i like very much but on the acceleration the bike wheelies a lot and uh, to control it uh, it's sort of uh, difficult as compared to last year because on the corner exit the bike starts to wheelie and uh, the next car and if the next corner is coming right up you have to get on the brakes and if the front wheel is in the air you will uh, crash for sure so you have to keep that in mind and on full brakes you cannot lean the bike uh you cannot fully lean the bike to uh turn the bike uh, to make the corner to hit the apex you have to release the brake before uh approaching the apex so a little difference from gp23 all right this is our first lap i think uh, ahead we have paul yes i think it's him because i think i believe that it uh, that's a yamaha Oh tricky 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 All right Hard on the brakes again bike loves bike is loving to do a stoppy All right this is our first flying lap and it's 142.603 I think it's it will be not enough because Meka Viduraj is a very very fast rider especially here at Bud and Hilzy is also a fast rider so we surely have to improve our time four tenths up almost yes now four tenths up first sector is red hilzy set our first time 142.1 ah uh, is a half a second quicker then us we lost all the time in the braking but we were up by 3 and a half tenth in the first sector oh rear is sliding this chicane is little tricky to get right it's so easy to uh, cut the inside cup on the uh, on on the left corner and get your lap time invalidated Oh we are closing so much on in Paul I hope he doesn't in impede our lap no he doesn't so that's good Oh again wide we lost so much time but we gained four tenths back Okay now let's go 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 Paul is but it behind 6 tenths up meka vidraj set up 141.5 oh that's that's what i'm talking about uh where with shots from 40 seconds left only come on we have to hurry can we make it 35 seconds can we cross the finish line before the ticket flag Our last lap was one forty one point nine, so we are 
फोर टेंस बिहाइंड मेका विदुराज ओह यस वी डिड क्रॉस द लाइन ऑन टाइम गुड टर्न वन अर्ली शिफ्ट टू थर्ड आर्ट ऑन द ब्रेक्स यस 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 ओ नॉट अ वेरी गुड एग्जिट द एंट्रेंस वॉज टू टाइट well the first sector says we are almost matching makers lap time oh come on come on come on we did mistake here last time ah uh, messed it up messed it up can we gain back time here nice breaking for turn 10 we gain 3 tenths there come on come on come on what's the last sector say wow hit the apex quite beautifully but the third sector is also gray so that's a uh, bad bad news so tricky mistake on the last corner so it will be second place we will not be improving or challenging for pole so meka viduraj sits on pole with 141.500 we sit on second place hilzi on third on a factory ducati and paul is in fourth place All right then. So nobody has a impeding long lap penalty. That's good. Let's go with medium, medium. I think we have the base to challenge for the victory. but i'm not too sure because meka madhuraj is surely going to be there at the front we're ready for the lights to go out here at the bud circuit just a few moments more and he has a very good um race pace here so beating him will be difficult all right then last round of the championship and the five red lights are on and it's a go we have a very good start but paul even had a even better start than us oh careful hilzi is right behind us paul has just gone overshoot the first corner he's going to go wide we are going to cut inside go in the inside line and take the lead now this time was very good uh, at turn 3 the exit was not uh the entry was not too tight like in the qualifying so we gain 3 tenths uh over paul helzi is in third place and meka viduraj is in fourth place he's right at the last place i think he had a oh very bad start paul hit us and he crashes out oh my goodness and somehow we just and we didn't lost the lead oh meka viduraj is trying to overtake us but we closes the door on him and he had to go wide and he loses second place to hilzi oh my god this is getting um very stressful for me meka viduraj back to second place with two track limits he's only one and a half tenth behind the question is can we keep him behind oh he has another track limits 
Not on the brakes. The bike didn't stop you this time, so that's a great news. Oh, he's right behind us. He's trying to get into the slipstream. Now, beautiful turn one. Hit the apex perfectly. Gained one tenth there. Again, perfect. Yeah. Into the turn three. Hit the apex beautifully. Another, and the gap is now six tenth to make up with Rajan Paul has crashed again at turn three. So his race went to went worse. He's not be challenging for the championship for race box. That's for sure. The gap is eight tenth. Oh, we make a big mistake. We went wide in turn five, and it's gonna make it's gonna give him advantage to make up with Raj. I think yes, he's half a half a second behind, and the gap is increasing. Going up and down very quickly. The gap is now seven tenths. We have to stay very focused. Very easy to make mistakes uh, here. Uh, Paul has gone down again. Nikab Diraj is right there. He is trying to pressurize us. The gap has come down to three tenths. He had a brilliant last sector. Nice again through turn one. I think we can do it. Uh, Meka is gaining on us on the last sector, but we are pulling. Ba time back on him on the first three sectors the gap has went again up to six tenths so i think we can do it i'm not feeling the pressure as of now again beautiful through turn four but mika is still there so a little bit pressure maybe we have to just stay focused Mikavit Raj has again has another track limits warning. He's only one track limits warning away from having a three second time penalty. Oh, careful in turn 10. The gap is now still half a second. Good through turn 12. 50%. Of the race has been completed. Or not? It will be completed after uh, at after the fourth lap. All right, then we start the fourth lap. Oh, okay. No. Oh! What the? What just happened? There was no warning in the front end. Oh my god, we bottled it. Oh shit. We could have won the race as a wild card. Ah shit. Now Meka Viduraj leads the race with Hilzi right behind him. And we are 3.8 seconds behind in third place. I'm sure we are not gonna catch them. The laps are not enough. Paul has another track limits warning. Oh my god, how what a stupid mistake is it was. But the game didn't give me any sort of warning in the front end. Care anyways. Let's close the uh, let's close the gap to them. Even if we have to cut some corners, I just want to view them fighting from up close. 
and uh, we are not gonna overtake them for sure we are going to stay in third place we will just close the gap to them and uh, see what they have um, for the remaining laps of the race if they're gonna fight if Hilzi can bring something onto the table and I think Mekha Viduraj has a 3 second time penalty because his strike limits uh, signs are gone maybe Hilzi will not attack him they're both on the same bike the difference is only the setup right now Hilzi in the slipstream can he will he make the move Mekka Viduraj went wide and Hilzi hit the front I think I believe Mekka has a 3 second time penalty and Hilzi knows this Paul has just retired from the race and Mekka Viduraj has gone back again back to the front I think the fight is very much on we have to close the gap to Hilzi right now. We are going to cut the corner again. I don't care about the 3 second penalty. We are not gonna um, overtake them. Oh, side by side they are. Hilzi is trying everything to make the move. But he is being very careful. He doesn't want to crash because he has a 3 second advantage over Mika Viduraj right now okay half distance has been completed we start the sixth lap of the race Hilzi not close enough in turn one but he's gaining he's gaining he's gaining and oh no he has hit the front but Mika is going up the inside and they are side by side again Hilzi is the one who has the lead right now and Mika has overtook him. I think he has more top speed than Hilzi's factory Ducati. And I think Hilzi is up the inside of Mika and yes he has made the overtake. He hits the front Hilzi. Come on we have to get close. Hilzi leads the race. Mika couldn't do anything at turn 5. Will he do? I think he is going for the move. No, it was Hilzi. Oh, here comes Mekha Viduraj up the inside. He cuts a tighter line. Oh my god, he did a Peko Banyaya move on Hilzi. And Mekha Viduraj trying to check out here. Come on, let's cut the corner. Yes. Now we have a very much nice view and Hilzi makes the mistake, he goes wide. Now we have a nice view of them fighting each other. Now Hilzi stays in second place. I just fear that Hilzi notices that we are right behind him and he will start to defend rather than attack Mika then we will lose a great battle I think he has the potential to uh, to overtake and Hilzi makes a mistake again at turn 3 he was super wide he lost so much time to make a run now I think he just have to um, make sure that he stays within the 3 second gap I think he is doing that, he's not gonna attack because he has Mika has built a gap. Oh Mika was wide there at turn five. Yep, I think that's it for today's shows. Oh we almost crashed.
I think Hilsi is feeling the pressure from us and he goes super super wide. Again he goes wide at turn 12. I think Mika has built uh, over a second gap to Hilsi. And we start the last lap with Mika in the lead, Hilsi in second place and us on third. Hilsi is riding carefully. Mika is trying to check out. He is trying to build a 3 second gap. Oh, massive moment for us. Or maybe Hilsey knows that we are cutting the corner. I don't know. Hilsey has set a fastest lap of the race. 141.999. Hilsey makes a mistake again. And here we are into the last corner. Hilsey makes a mistake again. He was very, very wide. But we are not going to overtake him. And it's Mika Viduraj who crosses the finish line first with Hilsey in second and us in third place. But Mika Viduraj wasn't successful building a three second gap to Hilsey. Hilsey is the winner of the last round of the race with the fastest lap. Mika sits have to sit on the second place and we finish in third so that's it from us guys and this is how the championship looks and uh, Facebox wins the championship uh, with Paul in second place only seven six points behind so that's sad but the season has over and we will be back with the next season very soon so say so stay tuned or if you want to join uh, the championship you can find the discord server link in the description so that's it from us guys uh, we will see you in the next video okay bye